What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak the new iOS 10.2.1. Um, sorry, I got a little distracted with my cat there. Uh, iOS 10.2.1. Uh, and as you can see here, I'm not jailbroken yet. Uh, I do not have CD installed and I am running iOS 10.2.1, build number 14D27. Now, this is a jailbreak by the Pangu team. And uh, to do this, you simply need to start your Safari browser and go to this address here, pangu10.mobile. Um, now here you will get an explanation how this works. And uh, they will tell you that you can't install Cydia on a device that hasn't been jailbroken. But you can, of course, install regular apps uh, approved by Apple, uh, like Cooking Fever and such. Pretty much any app in the App Store, or rather, any app in the App Store. Uh, now, the Pangu team has found a smart way to hide Cydia and the jailbreak inside of approved applications. So the result is that you get an approved application that you can install on your phone. And when you start this application, then the jailbreak and Cydia installation will start in the background. So what you need to do is just download one of these injected apps, start it up, wait for about 30 seconds, so Cydia has time to install itself in the background, and then restart your device. And you should be all, all, all done. Now, go to pangu10.mobile, scroll down to the bottom, and click this little icon here at the bottom to get to the CDA Injected Apps Store. Now, all of these apps are injected with Cydia, and they all contain uh, the Cydia and the jailbreak. So just pick one of these apps. Uh, Sometimes these apps get patched. So if it doesn't work on the first app, then simply try another app. They are all free, of course. Usually it works right away, but sometimes you need to try a couple of different before it works. And if a lot of them have gotten patched recently and such. Uh, I don't know what it's doing right now. There we go. So right now, um, the jailbreak in Cydia is being installed in the background. So we just need to wait a little bit. Uh, we don't have to do anything in the app while we wait. We can just sit there and wait. It doesn't matter. Uh, I think that should be enough. And now we are simply going to restart our devices with the power button. Slight power off. Now when we start our device, the uh, jailbreak process will finish and uh, Cydia will be in uh, installed. Or, or rather the installation of Cydia will be finished. And like I said, these apps get patched from time to time. So if it doesn't work on the first app, then simply try the next one. They are all, of course, 100% free, and the new apps are added all the time. New injected apps are added as the old ones get patched. And if it works, you will... Yeah, this is what we will see. If the jailbreak worked, then when you restart your device, then now... Um, sorry, I got distracted by my stupid cat. I don't know what it's doing. Something's gonna fall to the ground very soon. Sorry about that. Stupid cat. Uh, anyway, if the jailbreak worked, then you will see this. And the, the jailbreak process will be uh, finalized. And when your phone is all booted up, when it's all done installing and jailbreaking, then you should be jailbroken and have Cydia on iOS 
And I don't care what my cat says, he is not going to help me with my next jailbreak video. Stupid cat. Oh, for the love of God. He's lucky he's so damn cute. Or he'd be in trouble now. And you should also see this. And now we should have CDM. There we go. Cydia installed and working perfectly. iOS 10.2.1. Just can show you here also. Um, iOS 10.2.1. That's it. You're now jailbroken on the new iOS 10.2.1. Now, if you like this video, please do comment, rate, and subscribe. And have a great day. Thanks for watching.